And it struck me just looking again today at the, at the paintings in the collection here that even when paintings are supposedly of things in movement, they are essentially always a record of a very frozen world, of a world fixed in time. Whether it's a still life that is there forever, the fruit will never rot, the flowers are always in that condition. Even when it's a reference to a memento mori, it's about something that in fact is saved from decay. So you have the, the great painting um, of Watson and the Shark, the John Singleton Copley painting, one of the great paintings in the collection. Um, looking at it now, it's not that it's, it's a fabulous painting, but it absolutely sees as if it's a painting of a tableau. One could imagine the people posing for it being very assiduous in holding their poses for a long time and someone with a fan blowing the man's hair that's blowing in the wind to keep it in position. And it feels like a very good painting of a frozen set of actors in a pose, holding that pose very, for a long time. And in fact, there are very few pieces of actual static imagery which evoke in a convincing way a sense of, of movement. Obviously, one of the great things about the Pollocks was that that's what they did. They were simply a record of movement. And what you got was what, what you see in the painting, such as the narrow painting you have in the corridor outside the Copley, is a kind of a record of movement rather than a painting of something or a painting of movement. And obviously one of the things that adjusting the drawing on and on and shooting at the film successively does is that it builds into the very process itself both an actual illusion of movement, obviously nothing is moving, uh, each drawing is static, but when you look at them together, the different positions of the hand, you get the illusion of movement. So it's a, in the same way that you can't stop yourself seeing those torn pieces of paper as being a horse, one is able, unable to stop oneself from seeing a series of static images as moving, even though we know that every frame in a film is in fact a still image, and particularly of animation where you know that it's a static drawing, we can't stop ourselves seeing a movement. So the idea of the world as something that changes and moves rather than that is something that is fixed, the world as process rather than the world as fact, temperamentally for me was a very a great opening of possibilities. 